It's Kate Bolt, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK, back for another Coffee and Cards Live. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Right, let's balance out this tripod a little. <laughs> now we're all set up and ready to go. I'll just wait a few minutes, see if anybody hops on live with me. It's a beautiful day here in Buckinghamshire. The sun is shining. It is glorious. Hello, Shaz. How are you? Are you well, my lovely? I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm live. I'm just checking on my laptop. So, oh, I've got a big crease there in the middle of my grid paper. <laughs> That's not so good, is it? Never mind. Let's go with that. And I don't have too much of a delay on it today, which is good. It's funny how YouTube sometimes gives you a massive delay and sometimes not so bad. So good afternoon to you, wherever you are. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day here today. I took the dog out for a walk early this morning and uh, it's gorgeous. I hope the weather is nice with you. Do let me know what's happening with you. I've got a little drink. It is coffee and cards after all. Although I have a cold drink. Do you have a drink? I hope you have. I hope you have on this fine Tuesday afternoon. This grid paper really has seen better days, hasn't it? Never mind. It's going to get a lot worse in a minute. <laughs> Shaz says, you're good. You're just going to take the dogs out around the farm. It's beautiful. They're going to love the run, aren't they? They are. They are. Anyway, I was at a loss of what to bring you today. And um, so I pulled out the Cheerful Daisies. This is a new stamp set in the new annual catalogue. I've only played with it a little bit. I played with it when it first arrived. I made a few cards that went out with some of my catalogues and things like that. Um, and then I've not really played. So I thought it was time I did. Good morning, Amanda from sunny Spain. What's the weather like with you apart from sunny? Is it nice and warm? It's probably about, it's meant to get to about 17 here today. I don't think it's quite that. But with a, a kind of a hoodie on, it's gorgeous for a walk. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so I brought out this stamp set. Now, this stamp set has a lot of dies that go with it. I've pulled all mine out because I've been playing. So I will show you all the dies properly. Ooh. So these are the Cheerful Daisies. It's a whole suite. The dies are called the Cheerful Daisies dies, um, usefully enough. No, the dies and the stamp set all match the same name. So that is good. We have papers that match. I have very little left of mine because I used all mine for my class last month. So all my class attendees gone early play because it was on pre-order at that point with the daisy papers. They are absolutely gorgeous, but I've only got a couple of sheets left until my delivery arrives. I can't remember what I ordered. Did I order more daisy paper? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> it's 16 there today, but a cold wind. Yes, it is cold wind. Kind of if you put a jacket on with a little zip on, you're all right. It's 26 with you, Amanda. Oh, my goodness. That is just heaven. That's my ideal temperature, I think, because it's 26. So I was wondering, because I've run out of the beautiful designer series paper, what else am I going to do with this instead of put a DSP card together? So I have pulled out an embossing folder and I love this one. It is called the Timber 3D embossing folder. So I pulled that one out. I've got the stamps and I've got the dies. So I'll show you where I've got to with this card. So I've got a card base. That's the regular C6 card base. Uh, A4 scored and cut in half. And then I have a balmy blue layer and I've already embossed it with that beautiful timber embossing folder. How nice is that? So I've already done that, ready. Now here are the dies. These dies are so nice. So I was trying to work it out because when I played with it before, I didn't use all of the dies. So I have worked it out today. This is one large one, but then I worked out and then I was cutting these out and using them on the top. These layers, which they do fit on the top like so. If you see how that would work. Yeah. Like that. So that would work if you die cut it out. But then I was like, well, there's these. Do these just cut out the stamps here? Yeah. So I thought, well, maybe they just cut out the stamps, which I'm pretty sure they do cut out the stamps. 
Okay. However, if you cut this these out as well, all in the same colour or whatever colours you like, you have three layers. And I'll show you how in a moment. In this die set, you've got a leaf like this as well. And in the stamps, you've got this leaf and you can die cut that out. This is a nice long stem to stamp and die cut. This label die is super useful. I'm assuming these are for the middle of the daisies here and here. So everything is accounted for. Fabulous. So I'll show you what I thought I would do. So with these dies here, I've cut the layers out. In just in some basic white today. Let's bring all the bits. I think I've got all the bits. So with this die, I cut this one. Yeah. And then with this die, I've cut this one. And then with this die, I've cut this one. That's right. And then with this die, I've cut this one. So those are the three flowers that fit on there. But then I have cut this one. Where's the others? Here they are. Which is this one. This one, which is this one. And this one, which is this one. Now, it looks like a lot of die cutting, right? So that might put you off. Don't let it put you off because um, I just put it through as one. One on one big scrap sheet of what I had. Basically, what I put it through. One, one pass of the machine. Easy peasy. So I'm going to show you how I think this layers up. You may have had these dies and you may have played with them. So if I'm doing anything wrong, if you've got any tips for me too, definitely. <laughs> but I thought this would work now. Where's my take your pick tool? Here it is. I'm going to take these pieces out that haven't popped out yet. Oh, hello, Linny. How are you? Nice of you to drop by. How are you, my lovely? I miss you so much. I was talking about you this morning. Were your ears burning? All good, don't worry. <laughs> ah, right, I'm going to push through. Should I? Should I spend time to push these through? They look just as nice stayed in. I might push a couple through and leave a couple. Yeah because I quite like that kind of half in, half out look. But you could put them all out if you wanted. Right, let's get rid of all the bits. Righty right. So I'm going to glue these. <laughs> You're the least boring person I know, Lynn. You're not boring. No. Do you see how these fit on top of these here? Like so. They're going to go on there. But before I do it and do all that, I'm going to make the centres of my daisies a different colour. Okay, now I've got a sponge dauber. I've got the lemon lolly, new lemon lolly. Love this colour, this bright yellow. It doesn't look as bright, but it's very bright. Um, a friend of mine is moving to Buckingham and we were looking at where she was moving to. And we, yeah, I was, we were talking about houses and places in Buckingham and your name came up. It's a mutual friend of ours. <laughs> okay, so I have taken some of the ink off to the side so it doesn't appear quite so uh, intense and harsh. And I'm just going to add a little bit of ink and I hope this shows through when I've layered it because I'm not sure because I haven't done it yet. I have no sample card because I'm winging it, guys. Sometimes it's fun to wing, to wing it. So you can see there's plenty of ink on this door because it's a new ink pad. It's really, really juicy. Um, and can you see how cute these daisies look now and how bright yellow that is? Yes. Right, okay, so the next thing's next. Good afternoon, Margaret. How are you? I hope you're well. So you can see where I kind of made it go out, out of the middle 
but that doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it up a little bit with these. That's going to go on there like that. And oh, thank you, Shaz. And this is going to go on here. Now, I have an idea, but I'm not sure if this is going to work, guys. Let's try it. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. OK, so I've got my three there. I'm going to grab a different ink pad as well. Bubble bath. Let's find another sponge dauber. I think I was using, I think this was my bubble bath one. Is there any ink on it? Not really. Let's see how this works. It may go wrong, but that's fine. We'll experiment together. Do you know this bubble bath is beautiful? It's like a purpley pink rather than a pink though. I am going to. Do you know when you see daisies, proper old-fashioned daisies, that the middle kind of looks, just the middle before the ends of the petals, kind of looks a bit pink? And I love that. So we're going to try and... Oh, yeah, look, that works. Let's do that. Leaves great uh, impression, negative impression behind. A little bit of that. You don't want too much, otherwise you'll end up with a pink daisy instead of a white one. So it's nice in this bubble bath, but you could use a bright pink, like melon mambo, but you'd have to be careful. Right, okay, so we've got the layers. I think I'm going to glue those down. Right. Let's use the good old Tombow. And I'm just going to go around the centre bits. I haven't used, ooh, I haven't used this one for a few days, but it, this glue but it is brand new so it will pop out <laughs> seems to be daisies everywhere at the moment daisies and um, buttercups all sorts of things so I'm doing a daily walk my daily walk at the minute and I tend to come back from the school run every morning and get straight out on my walk with the dog it means i get it done um, because i'm doing a challenge to raise money for young minds and so i've got to make sure i get it done and the challenge is to walk three hundred ten thousand steps in may which sounds like a huge amount but it's actually ten thousand a day so it's achievable but i am seeing all the wildlife at the moment and it's beautiful oh Thank you, Mr. Bolt. <laughs> Mr. Bolt has brought me a nice cup of coffee for coffee and cards. How nice is he? What a star. <laughs> Guest presenter, Mr. Bolt. <laughs> How funny. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so if you were uh, interested in seeing what I see on my travels, do have a check of that on that's not my ink stamp share instagram account though that's on my um mrs kate bolt so you can have a look over there and if you want to look at all the signets that i can see and all the ducklings and the wildlife there's lots going on right now this is the challenge to get this the right way up it looks like that bit it's in there but it doesn't mm -mm -mm. it's not that way it's got to be up that way there's three here isn't there it's that way so I would say concentrate on these three here and line those up and the rest will go in yes so yeah, there's lots of walking going on <laughs> around here. There. There we go. That's really pretty, isn't it? I absolutely love these daisy dyes. I'm, I think I might be a little bit obsessed with them. And I've only just started playing with them. Woo! So, I am going to glue down the centre of this one. And then I'm going to match it up 
These are easy to match because you can kind of see exactly where they need to go. Oops, let's just have it in the right place. It's just the center I've glued. There we are. There's that one. And then we'll glue some of this. This top one. This one looks like a cone flower, doesn't it? But it is a daisy. You haven't had a good play with it yet. No, do you know what, Shaz? I was like that until just now, to be fair. Um, I think the dies are stunning. I like the stamps. I played with them. I made some cards. I had fun. I will be using it a lot. Um, but I'm actually kind of loving the dies even more. <laughs> right, this is easier too. Because these are large kind of outlines, they're much easier to line up. I kind of like that. It's kind of substantial. And really pretty. Liking that. So let's have a look at what we've got to play with. We've got this one. We've got this one. We've got our daisies. Now, I think what I might do is we've done a bit of ink blending with a sponge dauber. I might do a little bit on here and bring in a blending brush and my white ink pad. Now, I did this the other day, but I used my sponge dauber. But today I'm going to try it with my blending brush just to be different. And if that doesn't work, I'll go back to my sponge dauber. And I'm just going to pick up some of that wood grain. Make it look like a whitewashed background for the daisies. So this is what it looks like with the blending brush. I actually think I prefer it with a dauber, so I'm going to try that. You just kind of... Do you see how it picks it up a little bit better? I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. Can you see that this is slightly better than this? I definitely would go with that. So less is more you can always add if you don't have enough but you can't really take it away right okay so we've got a nice whitewashed woody panel okay and then we've got our flowers and i'm white and i've got some scrap pieces of white here as well and I'm going to bring the stamps in, I think, and a garden green. I'm going to, I'm going to make some leaves. So look at these. I have used them. You can see I've been playing, but not, not a lot. <laughs> so here's the leaf. Let's grab a block. Not a very big leaf. I think it'll fit on an A block. Have some of that coffee. How are you all doing? Mmm. Good cup of coffee. Garden green. This is a new ink pad. Um, just because. Oh, look at that. That stamps so nicely. Okay. And then I'm going to cut those out using the dies, I think. So what have we got? Where are you, dies? I have a tip for you regarding your dies. Would you like it? I'll show you. If you're working with lots of dies, on one project and you're worried especially if you have tiny weeny ones this is a magnetic holder that people use to put their screws in when they're doing diy okay um you can get them from wix or any kind of hardware store 
it's magnetic. So if you don't want to lose your dies while you're working, or if you're running a workshop, if you're a demo, or whatever reason, pop them in here. That way, if they always go back in there, they're not going to get lost on the table or in the paper. Such an easy thing. You found the bubble bath doesn't have a lot of ink in it like the other new pads, have you? I hadn't noticed. I don't know. Mine looks fairly inky, but I've only used it a bit, Shaz, so I'm not sure. But that'll be interesting to see, won't it? So that's the thing. Yeah, make sure you get your re inker just in case. Right, I've got my thingy. I just need my cutting plates. interesting thing I will check for that right here we go we could have done with a couple of leaf dies in this set oh I forgot to put the thin plate in it won't cut like that <laughs> Anybody else has found that with a bubble bath? Right. Right. <laughs> Here's our first leaf. I'm making a bit of a meal of it. Oh, but it cuts out really lovely with that kind of nice edge it feels like it's embossed it's cut around the like frills of the leaf now i wonder what it'll look like on those leaves i might trim the other leaves away i haven't decided if they'll go on there they might go on there I might trim those ones away on this occasion I would have inked those but I've got different leaves right here we go so I'll put this one back in my little metal container magnetic container and Bob's your uncle so this would look nice placed on here but then I've got this piece so I think what I'm going to do is snip it off I'm going to do a bit of surgery now I could easily just sponge those green and leave them or tuck them in a different spot, I might do that. So, first of all, I need to look at the placement of my card and decide the layout. So I've got this one. I've also picked out some of this beautiful ribbon and I'm nearly at the end. I think I must have used this for a class. This is the combo, it's a combo ribbon. How would it look in a bow? Oh, you know what? I've got some of that balmy blue variegated ribbon. That is gorgeous. I might put that in a bow on there. <laughs> this is my process along the way. Let me grab the balmy blue. This is called variegated ribbon and it's really pretty. I think I might use that. Okay, so. Have I got a piece of bubble bath cardstock left? Yeah. I'm going to make another layer, guys, on my card, just because. And I'm going to make that blue pop. 
my Stampin' Up! delivery has arrived. I am going to have to go to the door. I am really, really sorry. Can you bear with me for two seconds, guys? Can you? I'll be back in two seconds. Just waiting for the UPS driver to get out of the out of his van. Yeah, here he is. He's holding the box. Hold up. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for your patience, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. Oh dear. Right, I've got a piece of bubble bath and I'm going to cut it at a layer size uh, 10 centimeters by 14.3. You use a mechanics tray as well, Shaz. Yeah, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? Not losing anything, especially when I go to class. Those tiny dies, you're always worried that they're going to go astray. Um, and so are my ladies who come. They're always a bit worried too. So, yeah, uh, it's helped. So 9.5. My lovely friend, Marguerite, she gave me that tip. So I'm just taking the layer down by half a centimetre to fit. So all my layers are always pretty much the same. Sometimes I change it, but not very often. And it's only to leave a smaller border if I do. So, oh, look at that bubble bath in blue. Right, okay. So we've got bubble bath and that's 14.3 by 10. And then we've got the balmy blue blended layer, which is 9.5 by 13.8, all centimetres. And then we've got our pretty um flowers now it really makes that pink pop a little more i think so we're going to go with that i am going to try a blue ribbon bow i'm not very good at bows especially if i do it on camera <laughs> oh dear so if you have these daisy dies i would encourage you to cut all three layers out and play with them because they are so satisfying and you can get them in my online Stampin' Up! shop if you don't and you want them. Right, this balmy blue ribbon is lovely. It reminds me of that kind of just floppy ribbon. It's a shame I can't tie a decent bow on camera. There has to be a good way. I've tried all sorts, you know, bow makers and whatnot. And also tying them upside down. That sometimes works. Hmm. I have to say, though, to be fair, I normally attach my ribbon before I tie the bow. So that's probably a bit more helpful to do. Right, this might work. Right, let's give it a snip. Where's my ribbon scissors? Such a gorgeous ribbon though, isn't it? So I think this is gonna go on here, I think. It's not me, is it, this card? I really like it. <laughs> How funny. Hmm. Right, I'm not going to stick anything down until I've got my sentiment in place. Right, let's have a coffee. And I'm going to use the die here for our sentiment. So that might help me with my ribbon placement. It's going to go on here somewhere. Thank you, Shaz. I think they are fresh colours, aren't they? Perfect for the spring. We're not really in summer yet. So I am going to pop the garden green in. So I'm just going to place it so I can kind of decide 
about the colour of my stamp sentiment and I'm not sure but I think I'm going to go for the green. So garden green, where are you? Here. And wishing you the brightest birthday. So we have a nice birthday card or you made my day. I think the birthday card fits best, but that's slightly short for that one. There's, uh, you made my day. Oops, Daisy, so sorry. Your friendship means everything and wishing you the brightest birthday. So I think wishing you the brightest birthday might be the way to go. Yeah. And I've got plenty of scrap white. So, let's grab a block. Now, um, this is a birthday card for my niece. I did make her a birthday card, and her birthday card was actually last weekend. So I'm very late. How bad? However, I want to make her a different one now. <laughs> No, I know I've not sent it. I'm going to send her this one because it's really pretty and I like it. So, wishing you the brightest birthday. Should say, oops a day, so, oops a daisy, so sorry it's late, I should put in. I might actually do that. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Oh, and it stamps really nicely. And here's the nice little die to cut it out with, and it's stitched. So we're going to pop that through. Right, here we go. Look at that, I did it all skew if. Oh, that's no good, is it? That's terrible. <laughs> I've not done that in a long time. Right, let's try that one again. I am going to just cut the die cut out this time and then stamp on it. <laughs> How ridiculous. How did I do that? There we go. Here we are, so let's take that out. You can see how it's nicely stitched. It looks so pretty. Let's see if I can make a better job of the stamping this time. Oh, uh, do you know what, Shaz? I think we are. Card makers, the worst are getting cards sent, made and sent on time. I think we are. You could put the sorry I'm late on the inside. That's what I'm going to do, I think. It says, oops a daisy. So sorry. That's what I'm going to put on the inside. Good plan. Right, let's see if I can line this up. Put my glasses on. <laughs> Wishing you the brightest birthday. Yes, hooray, hooray. So this is gonna go on here, like that. That's really pretty, isn't it? I'm liking that. Right, let's see if I've got some gems. I have. I had, a, I had one of these little, I think it's from Ikea, and I keep all my embellishments in there. And I went through it yesterday because I had so many in here that were, had little tidy bits in that were retired, etc. And I wanted to make sure I was using current goodies. And yeah, the butterflies are still current. The matte dots are. Not sure about the red rhinestones, but I keep those for Christmas. Um, 
Yeah, and obviously the basic rhinestones, the sequins are still current, the champagne ones, these hexagon ones are really useful. They're in the special clearance rack. The metallic ones are still current. Yeah, these resin stars are in the clearance rack at the minute. This is what I'm looking for. So all of these goodies, if you've got them in your stash, they're not retired. All right, these go with this suite. This, these are called the adhesive back solid gems and they go in all these colors, right. So let's make our card, it's all gone flying everywhere. So. Oh, look at this. Does anyone else get excited by a new packet? I think my laptop just died. I wonder if I can see, I don't think I can see comments on here at the moment. Let's have a look, see if I can. Live chat, yes. I can see the live chat. Okay, I'm going to pop this on here using the foam pads. Nice. Oh, I'm really excited that my delivery came. There's not a lot. Um... Oh, you've just given me a like, Shaz. Thank you so much. And for the reminder, if any of you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me. Thank you very much indeed. Right, so I get very excited when I get a brain box from the UPS delivery because it's always stamping up goodies. Um, even if it's a customer orders, I get excited because it's stamping up goodies. <laughs> um, but this one is not exciting at all. It has basic white cardstock in it that I was getting low on. It has some designer series paper in it and some I'd run out of balmy blue and bubble bath. That's it. Um, it was a bit of a rush one, you know, when you think, I have to get some white cardstock, what else do I need to think quick? <laughs> um, but I now realise I have absolutely no designer series papers. Um, I have to go back and uh, do a proper order. So I'm going to pop this one up here. Like so. I'm going to stick these in behind, Let's get my bow in. Now, I'm not a bow person, and you might be able to tell why, because I'm not that keen on it, but I think it'll grow on me. I'm going to use some of these sticky dots that are in my stash that I've been using for ages, and I never seem to be able to use them up. I am going to try. This is my challenge. Use up all the adhesive that you get in the kits, because <laughs> they're really good. They stick really well. Although that's kind of obscuring my daisy. It sticks so well I can't remove it. I was trying to ring me, so as soon as I get off this live, I need to do that. Okay. Here we go. Let's glue this one down. I've got my tape runner here. There we go. I love the stamp and seal. On it goes. So I think one card may be my enough today because I spent quite a lot of time chatting and faffing. I might move that over. There we go. Right. Tombow. Here we are. One. Two, put this one in here, that's better, three, wishing you the brightest birthday, I'm going to save that one for another one, then we're going to stick it on to our card base.
So I've got a landscape. It's a tent fold, but I'm making it a landscape. I love these subtle colours. They're so pretty. So I'm not sure because this is lemon lolly. This is not balmy blue. This is boho blue. And this is uh, probably... Is it copper clay or pecan, pecan? Pecan, I think. So I think I'll just put a couple of these tiny little ones that match the lemon lolly because they are so pretty. Tiny little ones there, like that. And then inside, we can put... <laughs> Inside we're going to put Oops a Daisy, so sorry. Here it is. Not used this one yet. Get it straight. There we go. Ink it up. And stamp inside. Oh, that's so nice. That's so satisfying as well. Now, I'm going to just play with this. Now I can't remember which way is the best way to stamp this. So let's have a little looky. I think I'm going to use the lemon lolly. I'm going to try it in an outline. That is quite pale. Oh yeah, no, that works. Okay, so just gonna dress up the inside of the card here, like that. Line it up. Well, that lined up well, didn't it? Yes. And I do believe, what's the inside? Have we got a stamp for that? Yes, we have a stamp for, where's the little tiny square block? Here it is, with a leaf on it. Actually, I'll leave that and I'll use that. Grab another one. So this is the inside of the flower. So let's grab the lemon lolly. Gosh, look at that, how bright that is. <laughs> Okay, stick it on there. We've got a nice little daisy. And we'll have a leaf there, a leaf there, and we'll have a leaf coming down here. There we go. And there's our card complete. That's our card for today using the Cheerful Daisy Bundle. Oh, I really love it. I think I'm going to be playing with this a lot. I've used the Timber 3D embossing folder with it. I've added in some of the Balmy Blue Variegated Ribbon. But it is such a pretty set. I really love it. So it is the Cheerful Daisy stamp set. It's got some really useful uh, words in it. A great happy birthday one. And it's got the dies to match. And then you can buy the papers if you want to. And uh, I will be using those once I've got some more of them. And yeah, you can get the gems to match too. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Thank you, Amanda. Thanks, Lily. I'm glad you've watched me. I'm so, I miss you. We must get together. I keep saying it. We'll put a date in the diary, my lovely. So thank you for watching me, everybody. Thank you if you've watched me live. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching from the future, do say hi. Tell me what you think of the daisies. I would love to know. 
Thanks, Shaz. That's very kind of you. Um, you can find all the products I've used in my online shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. Um, and thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. So I'll see you on Friday for a fun Friday live. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care. Bye-bye.